Hey, thanks for joining us. Um, in this video, we're going to use the idea of torque to explain the right hand rule. The right hand rule may possibly be one of the most hardest concepts to get, but once it clicks, once you get it, it's good. It's good. So it's not necessarily hard, but it's hard to at first pick up for some people. So um, actually for most people, let's put it that way. So I want to make sure that you are going to, uh, you're going to be able to do this and it might take a little while, but don't give up on it. Don't give up on it. Cause like I said, it's not hard. It's just conceptually, it just might be hard to get at first. Now, if you are in Honors physics, you might not need to worry about this. So like junior year, honors, regular physics. Um, AP physics C, you definitely need to know this because you're going to do it when it comes to angular momentum. But I want to get it out there yeah, just a little bit earlier. AP physics 1, that kind of depends on your teacher and what topics you're covering. So I'm assuming that if you need to use the right hand rule, uh, then you'll be watching this video. All right, so we're going to uh, figure out how you can determine the direction of the result of a cross product. So like, for instance, your torque is R cross F. So we are going to be, we're going to be figuring this out. All right. Okay, we're going to take this step by step. The challenge is that um, you are not seeing me in real time moving my hand, but it also might be an advantage just to get the... Uh, the frozen pictures of, you know, of my hand. All right. So we're going to start with a cross product. Now you are going to use the same reasoning or the same procedure for all cross products. Uh, first of all, we have our axes now. So this is axes in the three dimensions. Now I know what you're thinking in math. You normally have, this is the X, this is the Y, and this is the Z. And you're thinking, oh, great. Why are we switching it now? Well, there's actually a reason that we're switching it now. And once you know how to do right-hand rule, I'll explain it to you. In the meantime, yeah, you're just going to have to deal with it. All right. So, uh, and as usual, when we write vectors, I vector is in the X direction, J vector is in the Y direction, and K vector is in the K direction. All right. So we are going to use our hands, all right, we're going to use our hands in order to figure out the direction So, of a cross product. So bottom line, your thumb is going to give you the result and you need to move your fingers in a way that you can orient your hands so that you get the result, okay? So um, I, you might notice this tiny little, uh, all this little stuff written over here on the right. Uh, so uh, I wanted to show you this first. So I'm going to put an axis on here. Now, I don't, uh, well, just so you realize this, uh, if this is the positive K direction, then this would be the negative K direction. And this would be the negative J direction. I'm going to write this on here. Come on. There we go. Negative J direction. And into the screen would be the negative I direction. All right. So I actually have these written in right here. All right. It just looks really busy. And so I didn't want to scare you at first. So hopefully you're still not scared. Okay, I'm going to, we're just going to jump in and do the first example. We are going to do the example of the hand position for J cross I. And uh, once again, do you remember the hats, these little, these little hat um, symbols there? That just stands for unit vectors. And a unit vector means the magnitude is one, but in the direction of that vector. All right, so if we are going to do J cross I, we want to first point the fingers uh, into the Y direction. All right, so we're gonna point these fingers into the Y direction. Now, here is the thing that you are not seeing. The palm is right here, it's labeled, all right? 
When you point your fingers in a J direction, there's nothing from stopping you from putting your hand flat so the palm is facing down. Your fingers are all pointed, it's, you know, so you can rotate your wrist and your fingers are still in the J direction. Here is the trick though. You want to move your hand so that you can wave. All right, so that you can wave to the direction you're crossing. So for example, if I am going to go J cross I, I'm going to put my fingers so that I could bend them or wave, you know, like a little kid might go bye-bye, you know, they just move their fingers. Uh, so you want to wave or bend your fingers so that they are parallel to the eye or going into the, you know, the eye direction. All right. Once you do that, you look and see where your thumb is. And that's the answer. So that's, that's really all this is. All right. Now, I really shouldn't say really that's all this is because some of you are going, what? So we're going to do a few more examples. A few more examples. Just want to reiterate, if you're doing J cross I, you point your fingers in the direction of J, you rotate your wrist so that you can cross your fingers or wave to the I or to the X axis or I axis, or you can bend them so they're parallel to the I axis. Whatever visual works for you, and after you do that, Whatever direction your thumb is pointing, that is the direction, that is the answer. All right, so your thumb here is pointing down, which indicates the negative K direction, and that would be the answer. Okay, let's do this one. We're going to do K cross I. So first thing, Put your fingers in the K. So point your fingers in the direction of K. And it's positive K, so you point them up. You twist your wrist so that when you bend your fingers, they are parallel to the I direction. Or you can think about your waving to the I direction. All right. Just as the picture suggests here. And then whatever direction your thumb is in, that's the direction of your answer. So here, your thumb is pointing this way, which is in the positive J direction. That is it. Now, I encourage you to please move your hands. And yeah, you might look a ridiculous moving your hand in certain ways, but uh, this is the only way that you're going to learn. Also... Use your right hand. It's called the right hand rule for a reason. If you use your left hand, and I caution all of you right-handers because if you're writing problems and then you need to find the direction, you might be tempted to use your left hand to find the direction and you're going to get the opposite answer. So don't do that. Okay, we're going to reverse them. It matters. Unlike regular multiplication, I cross K is different than K cross I. All right, so we did K cross I in the previous slide, and we got positive J um, direction. All right, so now we are going to do um, I cross K. We're going to reverse them. So what do you do? Your fingers are pointing now out of the screen into the I direction because you start with the I. You move your wrist, this is a toughie, you move your wrist until your fingers can bend in the direction so they're parallel to the K axis, or you're waving to K, however you want to look at it, and you look which way your thumb is pointing, and lo and behold, it is pointing in the negative J direction. Oh, so take a look. K cross I is J, but I cross K is negative J. You get the opposite answer if you reverse your cross product. That might be good to know in the future. Let's look at another relationship. Okay, here we start out with K cross I. 
Actually, it's K-cross negative I. So what do you do? You put your fingers in the position of K, positive K, which means they're pointed up. You turn your wrist so that your fingers wave to the negative I direction, which means into the screen direction. So your fingers will be parallel uh, to the, or perpendicular to the screen, I should say, or parallel to the negative I direction. And you look and see which way your thumb is facing, and it is facing the negative J direction. So... K cross I equals J, and K cross negative I equals negative J. All right? So if you do this enough, you will see different patterns. All right? You'll see different patterns. Oh, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, that's cool. Okay, let's try a bunch of these. I'm not going to draw the pictures or whatever. Um, I'm going to do them uh, with you. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to pause the video. I want you to write down. I want you to figure out all of the answers. And then uh, put the video back on. And I will tell you all the answers. Okay? So uh, please pause. I'll wait. Okay, now once you, uh, hopefully, hopefully you paused it and got the answer, so let's see how good your answers are. So for the first one, you put your fingers in the direction of the negative I vector, which means into the screen, and then you wave to the J direction, and your thumb should have been pointing to the negative K direction. All right. Uh, J cross K, you put your fingers in the K direction, you're going to wave them up to the positive direction, K direction, and you, your thumb should be pointing out of the screen, so it should be a positive I. Finish up the hat I had there. Okay, the next one, negative K, so put your fingers in the negative K direction, point to the negative I direction into the page and you should get positive J. How are you doing so far? If you're doing great, I am so happy for you. If you are not, go back to the next, last few screens. Try looking at them again. Uh, K cross I. Let me do this one. So uh, you point your fingers straight up into the K direction. You wave them into the positive I direction and that should give you positive J. Ah, look, negative K cross negative I gives you positive J. Positive K cross positive I gives you positive J. Kind of matches that pattern we talked about. Okay, here is the reason why they uh, changed the axis instead of having the X and Y on the piece of paper on the plane and why they have the X coming out. If you do I cross J, put your fingers out of the screen, cross it with J, positive J, you should get a positive K. And that's why they want you, when you do I cross J, to get positive K. They want that signage to work. And last but not least, J, put your fingers in the J direction, have them wave to the I direction, and that has your thumb pointed down, so that should be in the negative K direction. Hopefully, you got these all correct. And like I said, if you didn't, don't feel bad. Just go back and try to actually put it away for a little while, and then go back and try again, and it is going to click, I promise you. All right, one last time. When taking a cross product, in order to determine the direction of your answer, you need to place your flattened fingers in the direction of the first vector you are crossing. Rotate your wrist so the fingers can now wave to the direction of the second vector being crossed. And once you do that, your thumb will be pointing in the direction of the answer or the vector product. 
uh, you will definitely be using this if you are going to study angular momentum. So keep that in mind. And uh, most likely, in order, if you're studying angular momentum, you're going to be studying rotational motion. So uh, there will be or are tutorials dealing with um, rotational motion. And as usual, always remember, hardworking scholars can do anything.